Let's hear what David Cohn has to say. He joins Meredith now on the field. Thanks, Bob. I'm joined by David Cohn. David, the Yankees find themselves with their backs against the wall again this postseason. Game three, they are down 0-2. But one thing we do know, they play incredibly well here in the Bronx. They do, and they have their best pitcher on the mound, and Garrett Cole. And all you ask for is just a chance to get some hope back into the series. And you have to win game three when you're down 0-2 in order to interject some hope not only into your team, but also into the fan base as well. You mentioned Garrett Cole had an outstanding performance in game one and game four of the ALDS. What did you take away from those, David? Well, I think that uh, he's comfortable in his own skin here now. You know, even though he's had a great career and his postseason numbers really kind of speak for themselves. He's got outstanding postseason numbers, but there was still that question in pinstripes. Is he, is he going to have those signature moments? And he clearly has. He clearly is the leader of the staff. And I think he's prepared better than anybody to, to take on this 0-2 start tonight. And you look at this Astros lineup, very different animal than the Guardians. What is the biggest thing in trying to navigate him through? this Astros lineup? Well, I think obviously, you know, they've done a good job against their big hitters, and that's what you look at with Houston. You look at, oh my gosh, Alvarez and Altuve's owned us and Bregman. For the most part, other than Bregman's three-run home run, they've done a good job against those guys. I think they need to bury the bottom of the order better. Maldonado really hurt them in the, in the first two games as well, and certainly uh, Jeremy Pena in the two-hole, too, I think has gotten too many good pitches to hit. He's a free swinger. He's a guy that will chase, as evidenced by his on-base percentage on the year, so I think they need to zero in on some of the other guys as well and not just the big bobbers on the flip side the Astros are going with Christian Javier this evening and David he really had their number last time he faced the Yankees well he's got a high fastball that really rides and a good breaking ball he's a swing and miss pitcher his strikeout rate is through the moon this year and it's going to be more of the same you're going if you're looking for the Yankees to change their offensive approach and strike out less tonight's probably not going to be that night but nonetheless with his high fastball if you can get some guys on base, he is prone to give up home runs, and that's really got to be the formula for the Yankees. That's why we have the lineup in there that we see tonight. You mentioned the offensive approach for the Yankees. You look at the first two games, 30 strikeouts combined for the offense over those first two games. And after the game, a lot of the players spoke about trying to just make more contact, change the approach a little bit. But how difficult is that to do when you've been doing it one way the entire season? Yeah, it is difficult to do. And I think the one thing they could do is be a little more aggressive on the first pitch. I think they've gotten themselves into situations where they've gotten down in the count by allowing the pitcher to spot a strike early. And those are sometimes the best pitches to hit. They get more of the plate early, whether it's a fastball or a breaking ball, sort of a cutter or a slider early in the count. Those are the ones they've let go by. So I would encourage them to be very aggressive on the first pitch. If it's a good pitch, let it fly. You mentioned the Yankees lineup a little different yet again tonight. Anthony Rizzo is going to lead off. We saw that a couple times throughout the course of the regular season. And Aaron Boone really saying... He wanted to split up the lefties. Do you like Rizzo leading off tonight? I do. I have no problems at all with this lineup. I think it's the best chance they have to score some runs and to hit some home runs in this ballpark. And it's obvious that when you're down 0-2 and you've struck out this many times that you've got to put your best foot forward. And I think this is one lineup, too. I think Aaron Boone, even though people sort of suggest that this is a collaborative effort and analytics determines the lineup, I think Aaron Boone has his imprint on this lineup. Aaron Boone said he kind of went back and forth between Isaiah Kiner Falefa and Cabrera at shortstop. Ultimately, he went with Cabrera. Are you at all surprised by that? Not really, because once again, I think because the left handed bat in this ballpark gives them a chance to have one swing that might make a difference. Cabrera might click one with somebody on base on a two run home run. He's certainly capable of doing it. I think that's the reason. I think Aaron Boone just said, you know what? At every single spot, I need my best bat potential, my best offense there in the lineup, and that's why we see this lineup tonight. It seemed like there was a little bit of a question whether or not Aaron Boone would feel comfortable putting John Carlos Stanton in left field here at Yankee Stadium. He is deciding to do so tonight. I'll speak with John Carlos Stanton in just a little bit, but any doubt in your mind that he's going to be capable of patrolling left field healthy enough to do so, David? Well, it's a calculated risk, without a doubt. He hasn't been out there since 2019, I believe, so certainly, you know, you, you kind of hold your breath a bit, but you have Harrison Bader in center field to cover the ground, necessary he knows that he'll probably shade over that way and help anything in the gap so you're going with your offense here and that's the roll of the dice that you have you make bets you live with them and certainly there's there's risk no matter which way you go and Aaron Boone was actually asked if there was any consideration to moving Bader over to left judge to center keeping 
Stanton in right field. And Wally said it was something that he thought about, that was talked about. At the end of the day, they felt like Bader patrols center field so well, they didn't want to move him, especially considering he is coming off of injury as well. So they opted to go this way. Though Aaron Boone said that defensive alignment may be not ideal. Still, he feels as though they are solid defensively. Now, David, when you look at this one tonight, down 0-2, what is the biggest key for the Yankees? What will be the deciding factor? Well, I think the deciding factor is still going to be offense, and that is the story of the day. I think Eric Cole will do a good job of keeping his team in the game. He may end up giving up a run or two. He may even give up a home run here in this ballpark because that's kind of been his MO all year long, but he's also knuckled under and kept his team in the game and limited the damage. Question for the Yankees is offense. They got to get somebody to hit some home runs. They got to get some guys to work the count, get some get on base somehow, some way, whether it's with a hit or with a walk, and then have somebody go big fly tonight for, for their offense. Well, Yankees fans certainly would love to see it. They're filing in the stadium right now. One thing we know about postseason baseball in the Bronx, it is going to be loud. For David Cohn, I'm Meredith Morakovitz. We're going to take a quick step aside. When we